Okay, these next problems that we're going to do have to do with simplifying algebraic expressions where we're using properties of logs. So it says express the sum or difference of logs, and then it says express powers as factors. I'll talk about the second sentence in a minute, what they mean by that, but first what we need to do is look at what they're asking. They want a sum or difference of logs, which means they're asking, they're asking us to expand the log out. So for this, we have two things that are being multiplied together. We're going to use our rule number six. Uh, so you want to make sure you review your log properties first before attempting these. So that's our rule number six that says that we're allowed to break that apart into two different logs. So we're going to do log nine of x squared and then we're going to do plus log nine of the square root. Now instead of the square root, I'm going to write that instead as three x minus five to the one half power. Square roots can always be written as uh, fractional power, so we want to do that. The reason why we're doing that is because of this sen second sentence here, express powers as factors. What that means is they want you to ru use rule number five to bring the power down in front of each of those. So we're going to take two, we'll bring it down in front here, the one half will bring down in front there. That's what that rule te tells us to do. So we're going to bring that down. We have two log nine of x plus one half log nine three x minus five. Okay, so that's what they mean by express powers as factors. It means that it's no longer a power, it's no longer an exponent, now it's a factor meaning that it's being multiplied by something. Notice that I have the same base, I have to use the same base as the original one because that's how our properties work. So that's as far as we can go with our answer. We can't do any more because we don't know what x is, so you actually leave your answer as that expanded answer there. We'll do the same thing for part b. Now part b has a division happening in it, and so we're going to take, we're going to use our natural log, that's ln, and we're going to do the, we're actually using rule number seven in this case, so the division is going to turn into subtraction. So now I turn that into a minus sign there, and I'm going to bring these powers down in front. So the four will come down, four ln x plus five minus three ln x, We've written our powers as factors, it's being multiplied by each of these, so that would be as far as we can go with our answer.